to talk to this person right here. He is the host of the Gold Standard Niners podcast, our very good friend of the show, Rob Stats Guerrera. How are you, my friend? Excited for tonight? Can't wait, Kay. Week three, bring it on. Yeah, we're excited. Love what you're doing with the podcast. Best information in the biz about the Niners. Uh, are you excited that the quarterback talk is in Chicago and not in the Bay right now? It's nice. Like, I don't know what to do with my hands where you don't have a quarterback <laughs> controversy in San Francisco. Other than last week, Brock has thrown up two touchdowns a week almost, and he's only had one start in his career in the regular season where they haven't put up 30 points. So life is good. Oh. What do you mean here? Hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Well, you make a living out of out of finding the holes in this, and I'm trying to find them for you here. I try. I tried my. I stayed up all night. Twelve straight regular season wins. They're two and zero, like you said. FanDuel Sportsbook has them as double digit favorites tonight. It's all flowers and roses and cupcakes. I, I know you got to have something. Not not one complaint. You want to want to hit the secondary like a pinata? I mean, nickel corner has been sketchy. That's true. They've had their problems there. But, I mean, it's the second longest winning streak the 49ers have ever had. So what can I complain about? <laughs> okay. I got to go. I can't, have, I, I can't have this stats. What are your podcasts like, Pollyanna? It's nice. It's we, we talk about football. We're talking about the Super Bowl, possibly the number one seed. And that's the thing with tonight. This is a handle your business game. You're trying to be the number one seed in the NFC. The Cowboys are undefeated. You're going to have to play them in a couple of weeks. Don't mess around with the sad sack Giants. Go and dominate them from the word jump. Give me like a 33-13 type of win where you just snuff out their offense and roll. That's what it needs to be for the 49ers <laughs> tonight. Especially without Saquon Barkley, especially with this Giants defense not notching a sack. Wink Martindale there definitely doesn't have them playing up to their potential or what we expected for them uh, through two games so far this season. It's a short week. It's kicking off week three. We're so excited. Uh, I would like to know the last time you said the name Trey Lance. I want to know the last time you thought about Trey Lance. And well, well, don't roll your eyes because you were the president. You were the choo-choo conductor of the Trey Lance train, <laughs> my friend. And he's now a cowboy, nowhere to be seen. Okay, fine. Roll your eyes. Let's not talk Trey Lance. Tell me what you are seeing in Brock Purdy's game that has you feeling so happy. The guy has all the answers to the test. Like, no matter what you do, he knows what to do. You're going to send a free rusher, he dumps it off to his hot read. You're going to blitz, he throws to wherever the blitz came from. You just never can rattle this guy. And it's amazing considering he's still, you know, not even finished a whole year in the NFL. He just looks so in control of the offense. I don't have this fear that I had when Jimmy Garoppolo was there, where he would drop back to pass, and then I didn't know what was going to happen. When Brock drops back to pass, I'm excited. Like something good is about to go down and it's, it changes your whole experience watching the game. It's so true. Now I'm coming off a big parlay win with Gronk. I want to keep it rolling. My parlay relies on Christian McCaffrey going for over 40 rush yards. I believe he's taking, taken at 92% of the reps over the past two weeks. Any worry that this is the week Shanahan's like, oh, I don't know, let's, let's just, let's all give him the ball a million times. I, I don't, are we worried? Well, he did talk about wanting to get Elijah Mitchell some more carries because McCaffrey played 100% of the snaps last week. But here's the thing with that bet that I think you're sitting pretty on. McCaffrey has had in week one, a 65 yard touchdown. And in week two, he had a 51 yard run. So he may hit that over on one play tonight. So I, I think that's easy money for you to hit that over with McCaffrey. The whole offense centers around him and the gravity that he has wherever he moves on the field. So he's a key part of the game. 40 yards is not a ton rushing. The Giants stink against the run. They've been getting crushed so far this year. So I love that for you. I think you're going to be dancing again, Kay. Yeah, we love it. Now, besides Saquon, which is a bummer for the Giants, and I like both teams, honestly, the biggest question mark really is uh, this offensive line, which week one was just a disaster for Daniel Jones, as we all saw. I mean, they're all pro left tackle Andrew Thomas. He's already ruled out. And let's take a listen to what Daniel Jones had to say about that O-line in this matchup. The guys up front played really well on Sunday, and I'm confident that they'll, uh, they'll do the same Thursday night. So it's a good group in San Francisco, for sure. Like you said, they got... Uh, Bosa and, you know, the number of guys up front who can affect the game. So we'll be ready for it and, and have a plan for it. 
That was Daniel Jones on our show on Tuesday, <laughs> coming to us from a, a hotel somewhere on the West Coast ahead of this game tonight. Uh, you're you're laughing really <laughs> deviously, but he sounds kind of he sounded confident there in the O line. The Cowboys got him for seven in Week One. Are you taking the over or under on the nine? Your Niners beating that number tonight. Oh, seven is a lot, but here's the thing. They're going to be all over him. He may have a plan, but Mike Tyson said it best. Everybody's got a plan until you get punched yeah. in the face. And that is what the 49ers are going to do to the Giants. And here's the thing. Daniel Jones holds the ball longer than anybody except Justin Fields, which is not good against this 49ers defensive line. And Daniel Jones passer rating under pressure is 26. So he is going to be under pressure from all angles. I don't care what their plan is. The left side of their offensive line is out. It's going to be backups at left tackle and left guard. Daniel Jones is in trouble. We had Daniel, uh, your boy Debo on the show. Enough about the Giants and Daniel Jones, who's in trouble tonight. We have him each and every Tuesday. It's it's mm -hmm. fun. It's, it's kind of wild. We're going to get in our groove with Debo. We asked him who his favorite team to beat was, which I figured was going to be the Rams because he just takes care of business against them. But his answer to me was surprising. Take a listen. Like we kind of got this little back and forth thing with 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 Seattle, so um, mm. it'd be good to be Seattle because it's because it's kind of like kind of like the Rams, you know, they know us, we know them, and we get their best, they get our best, and um, between the two teams, like it always go, good hard fought games, and it always come down to the end. Which team do you like to see the Niners beat the most? Uh, it's still Seattle. They tortured me for years with Russell Wilson and Debo too. Like, don't forget the Niners still were losing a lot to Seattle early on in this run since 2019. So I get that. Plus they're the biggest threat to the Niners in the NFC West. So it makes complete sense that Debo would say that they can't lose enough for me. Nothing irritates me more than when one thing goes good for the Seahawks during a game and they cut right to Pete Carroll on the sidelines, chewing that gum with that stupid look all over his face i can't take it anymore <laughs> so i love beating the seahawks you like beating the seahawks i need a big game out of george kittle it's been quiet it's been quiet these first two weeks but he dominates thursday night some guys just have it i'm putting all the juju into a big george kittle performance and a big wink martindale performance and a big darren waller performance and a big iu performance i want it all i want fireworks a brilliant thursday night matchup uh, stats you are the absolute best we love supporting you your podcast uh, i gotta come on and just you know talk to you sometime i gotta get back on there invite me you're invited. Anytime you want to do it, I'd love to have you. Thanks for having me. Niners, big tonight. All right. Check out. Are you doing it? Are you putting a pot out tomorrow? We're going to put a pot out tonight, an instant reaction show right okay. after the game on Sorry, YouTube and here. tomorrow, every day, basically. Okay, it's the Gold Standard Niners podcast. Sorry, I couldn't hear you, but guys, check out that podcast. He is doing all of the work for what's potentially the biggest contender in the NFC. Big thanks to Rob Stats Guerrero and everybody he works with at that machine over there, making dreams come true 